And as we mentioned, the railway strike has now entered its 18th day, the longest in the nation's history. Over 150 workers have been laid off and 10,000 have been dismissed on disciplinary grounds. So what has brought on this, uh, the nation's railway road company to this point? Our Yuri An has more. The overhaul of Corail, the operator of Korea's railway monopoly, has emerged as a test case for the government's determination to rein in the lax management of debt-ridden state companies. That's because the state-run railroad operator saw its debt triple in the past eight years to over 16 billion U.S. dollars. Despite the piling debt, however, Corel has continued to pay out bonus payments and raise wages of its employees by more than 5 percent every year since 2005. The wage increases came during a period when the company was posting an average annual operating loss of 470 million U.S. dollars. Critics say Corel symbolizes the inefficient and lax management that pushed finances of state companies and other public organizations to dangerous levels. The government, which has concluded that the snowballing debts in public institutions have emerged as a serious risk to Korea's economy, says it is committed to setting up a subsidiary of Corel to improve efficiency through competition in the country's rail service. But unionized workers, which is on a longest ever strike in the nation's railway history, is strongly opposing the move, calling it a scheme to eventually privatize the company. There's no sign when the railway strike will end, but how it will be resolved will certainly set the course for future restructuring of the nation's public sector. Yurian, Arirang News.